Welcome to another FL Studio for Beginners tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix your failed to load plugins and tips for managing plugins. So basically, I have moved a lot of folders around in my VST and Steinberg and common files. I moved a bunch of plugin files around and it's just all messed up. I would go back and open up old files and my plugins won't load just exact, like, exactly like this. They'll fail to load. So for example, when you pull up a project, it's missing a plugin that it cannot pull up. So everything will be normal besides what the plugin is doing. So if you have an effect, if you're adding distortion, if you have a very distinguished effect on a sound that you need, it will be ignored. It will not be applied. So basically what you should do is go back to where you got it from and install it again. So basically it will reinstall the new plugin where it's supposed to be in the first place where it was originally located and it will get rid of most likely they would get rid of the old plugin as well so it scans through all your files and it uninstalls the old download right now I don't have span or I moved my span so I can go to So download VST3 for Windows. All right, so you open that plugin setup application. Let it do its thing. Let it do the default installation where it wants to go finish so basically what you already have started in your plugin manager will still be there it's just it needs to have a refreshed file for the plugin basically so I'm gonna reopen this project and I just reinstalled span again see so now I'm just missing my sample which I can locate that here if I want to go through Okay, that's not it, but you can relocate your sample. I don't know where that sample is at, but span is now working correctly. So I can go right here to my master, click span, and here it is. I had the old version too. I needed the, the new update basically. So I'll ignore the, my, well, basically my tuner, my M audio my melda where's that my melda productions plug-in pack bundle was moved as well so my tuner isn't working um, and I had other things on here as well uh, let's just do the the tuner I got my vocal synth working thank god but um so my melda audio tuner is not working I've already downloaded it. Plugin setup. Yes. Do the default installation again. The free bundle. Yep, just the free bundle. I will choose a click quick cleanup oh delete them um I'm just gonna not delete them for right now but I can go through and delete them later I will go through the files in this video as well successfully installed how it wanted to be installed so it's still not pulling up so you reopen it and there we are it did not say error for anything. I can go back to whatever ch uh, channel that was. My M tuner, and there it is, it's working. So, basically, you have these folders. 
for my Windows PC, a Mac, you might have to look that up. Um, usually it does it default for Mac. It's a little bit simpler. There might be one file for Mac for Windows. It has program files in your PC. You go to your Windows C drive. You have your program files in your program files 86. So basically in your program files you have common files, your VST2 plugins and your VST3 plugins. And you also have your Steinberg VST plugins. And then you have your regular VST plugins. So you have three folders that it could default uh, install into your C drive. And then usually they're in your times 86 file. You have your common files, VST3, your Steinberg VST plugins, and your just regular VST plugins. So I was going through mine and I was pulling up, let's just pull up a new project. I have one, two OTTs. I have two old school reverbs. I have multiple duplicates of plugins because I have plugins installed in these files and in these files and these also in my regular common files I have plugins installed in all of these files and basically your plugin manager this is the window that scans those files that I just showed you to be able to pull up these plugins. Those are just the default installation files where it would go to. So the manager default scans the, these files in the computer. So I've added all of these files for it to scan. And one of my songs, I have an OTT from this, this VST3. And then another one of my songs, I have an OTT from this other VST3 file. So if I try to switch one to the other, one of them is going to be messed up. One of them can't read properly because in that file, it is reading from the one it originally came from. So in my situation, I'm just going to have a lot of duplicates. I'm going to have a lot of random files. I don't want to move and delete stuff like I just went through and just went through and fixed again. Um, if you can't find the plugin that's popping up or just reinstalled, you can hit the install plugins uh, button to go through your files, but you would also want to click on add a new file right here, the new plugin search path. These are the search paths. So you just want to add the new file, go to where you think that it was downloaded, select the file, and then find the install plugin for it to search through that folder and then go through and start it if you can't pull it up. Another tip to manage plugins, if you go right here to your plugin database, you can right click this and then go to Windows Shell menu and then you can hit open. So basically, basically I'm gonna pull up my plugins, my effects, and under the categories, you have an analyst, controller, delay reverb, distortion, dynamics. So these are the plugins that are under these folders. They're classified as an effect, as an effect analyzer, whatever category it goes under. So now that file that I right clicked and opened, you can go to your effects. And these are the files that they're organized under. So let me, there we go. So these are my effect files, my analyst, my controller, my delay reverb and distortion. Analyst, controller, delay reverb and distortion. So I have my span under my analyst. 
but I also have a span under my visual. So if I open up span in one project and then I open up this span in another project, one of them is going to be messed up if I delete one. So that's just how I have my stuff set up. It's messed up. And if yours is messed up, this is the best way to solve this problem. Just reinstall it how they default are installed. If you can't figure it out after doing this, go to imageline.com, look up more videos. Um, this is the best solution that I have found for myself over years of experience of losing files and losing my plugins and just stuff not being right. I hope this helps for any beginner. Like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.